Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get a brand new Amethyst Sean Livingston for free here at NBA 2K24, my team, as well as the other cards we see on screen, which are Ruby Spudweb, Sapphire Earl Boykins, and Emerald Yuda Tabus, or Tabuse. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day tons and tons of daily consistent my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it we're going to start off with this just taking a look at these agendas so i have not on my main account actually completed either of the first two days i do have the cards anyway because i bought them and that'll be the same for today and then i will exchange all of these ruby sapphire and emerald cards for mt like i will when i get maxi and west unsell today i will be selling the ones that i already bought and making some mt back off of that and i graded them as well so that'll be a bunch a good chunk of mt actually then we have these freaky point guards cards um which are spud web or boy can do it abuse like i said spud web is obviously the agenda reward for completing all five of these challenges to get sapphire old boy you got to score 36 points with a point guard in a game knocked out on a post scoring challenge basketball fundamentals super easy four free throws with point guards over multiple games same thing there just run at the rim a few times you're eventually going to draw a foul with a point guard in that same challenge and uh, you could do that the other way that you could do this is play in clutch time offline keep the game close in the cpu will auto foul if you are up like six or less points in the last like 30 seconds of the game the cpu will auto foul you so you'll get free throws out of that as well clutch offline if you need those free throws now that actually might align pretty well with this challenge which is when 10 clutch time or clutch time offline games you could get the 36 points of the point guard also in a clutch time game especially if you're on a lower difficulty of clutch time so this could also be a really really good rewarding challenge to complete um and then you have 23 pointers with point guards over multiple games that one same thing completed in the games that you're playing and then 50 assist point guards over multiple games same thing completely in these games you can play online you can play offline if you want but you should be able to complete these other four challenges over these 10 games even if you are on a slightly higher difficulty at this point because even on all-star i feel like you should be able to complete all of these agendas within the 10 games except for maybe the 36 points in a game on all-star that might be kind of tough so you might want to do that in a clutch offline or in a uh um like a basketball fundamentals game or something if you're on a higher difficulty and clutch offline but in general these challenges again they're not that hard 10 clutch online or offline will be is a little bit time consuming this is by far the most time consuming part everything else like i said can pretty much be completed concurrently with those games as a whole this grind is probably going to take you a little bit over an hour about an hour and a half max would be my guess if you sit down and just dedicate yourself to it it's another thing that's going to take about an hour and a half so uh all of these grinds honestly in my opinion have been about an hour and a half each so uh, personally that's not an absurd amount i think it's a reasonable amount and um i honestly think that they're, they've been pretty good grinds like i feel like the records are decent like sean livingston and steve smith are really good cards sean bradley's not really but west unsold who we got yesterday is a legitimately good budget power forward there are some pretty decent cards out of these collections um it could have been better but sean livingston especially that's a 6-7 pg if we can grant with him he's gonna be a dog overall these agendas are definitely worth completing and they're not that hard again like i said it's gonna take you an hour and a half not too bad uh, and that is all i gotta say on that so that's gonna do it for this video i hope y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace